Hey, it's Steve Brown with Entertainment. And at a time where Hollywood is having very serious conversations about equality in the industry, we're finding out more about how that massive pay gap occurred during reshoots for All the Money in the World. With reports that Mark Wahlberg was paid 1,500 times more than his co-star Michelle Williams for reshoots on their movie All the Money in the World, we are finding out how this actually occurred. As you may recall, the reshoots happened after Kevin Spacey was dropped from the film following numerous allegations of sexual misconduct. Christopher Plummer took his place, and the cast had to reconvene for quick reshoots so that the movie would still make its original release date. Wahlberg, the lead actor, reportedly earned $1.5 million for these reshoots, while Williams, the lead actress, reportedly made less than $1,000. The film's director, Ridley Scott, has said that Plummer and the crew were paid. The rest, including Scott, agreed to do it for free and would receive an $80 per diem. USA Today then learned that Wahlberg's people negotiated for him to receive an additional $1.5 million. The outlet reports that Williams was never told, despite both actors being represented by the same agency, albeit different agents. It has raised the question of whether Williams still would have agreed to the minimum, knowing that not all of her co-stars did the same. She has not commented on the incident since it came to light. Executives at a top network are standing by James Franco after the actor was accused of inappropriate sexual behavior earlier this week. The backlash against Franco began Sunday after he won a Golden Globe for his performance in The Disaster Artist. Actress Ali Sheedy tweeted, then deleted, a message in which she referenced his lewd conduct. This prompted others to speak out against the actor, including two actresses who have worked on projects with Franco in the past. The 39-year-old stars in and executive produces the series The Deuce, which airs on HBO. HBO says they will continue to produce the show and that, quote, we have verified that no complaints about Mr. Franco have come in on The Deuce production. For City News, I'm Devo Brown.